That was close. Dr. Maruki... This has gone too far past changing someone's heart. Is he even still alive? Looks like that isn't a concern. Sorry, but I won't admit defeat just yet. I'm sorry. You know I can't do that. I've been chosen by the world itself. Granting this wish is my responsibility! The hell? Uh, he just... the treasure! his persona such strength of will if it is for everyone's happiness I don't care what happens to me don't resist accept it with my power no with mine and Adam Catamon's together our reality is nigh persona guides me To let it end like this. Adam Cadmon, guide us all to our ideal reality. You're wrong! Yeah, we refuse to let it end any other way, too. Persona! We're not done yet. Our final challenge persona. is Maruki's persona. The enlightened man, Adam Cadmon. Well, with no tendrils to protect him. Our fight's not with Adam. It's with Maruki. So, we're gonna put everything on Joker and prioritize our physical okay. attacks. This team... can't do a lot of damage against Maruki. His Persona's trait drastically increases his defenses to insane levels. So... The easiest way to breach those defenses is to attack with Joker. Unfortunately for us, a persona of that size is gonna pack a punch! But we lived. Haru endured. Now can retaliate. Here comes the pain. Hasatobe! Doing pretty good damage. Okay, that's actually really bad. And Haru has no HP to use one shot kill. I guess we just have to use. Wait. Do I have the debilitator? Yeah, we do. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. And just keep spamming Rebellion Blade. We may need to extend that buff in the future. So I can't burn through all my SP. We're doing fine so far. Just gotta keep hanging in there. Adam Cadmon, lend me your strength. Final guard's down and he full healed. Alright. We got a long way to go. Let's keep it up! If it's not gonna be Yoshitsune, we may have to go into Satan to finish him off that way. If our HP gets low enough, we can't even attack. I'm not saying we can't win, but God, it does not look good. And he already had debilitate. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, you will! Here we go! Big heals for Haru. Next turn. We retaliate, Grand Palm. Please. Someone dodge it! Yes! Okay. That's really good for us. That definitely would have killed her. Now, 
we're in a pretty good position. We just gotta keep buffs up. No, I can't. I gotta attack now. It's not maximum damage, but it's pretty dang good. We can use power charge from someone else. We gotta get Joker some buffs, though. He has to survive, or we... We game over. You know this by now. <laughs> Might as well. Rebellion Blade ain't doing crap. Our tech. Okay, no, we can do this. Next turn, all we gotta do is survive. He has... Yeah. He has attack up. Come on, dude. Another Grand Palm. Please don't... No! God dang. Oh, she's still... She lived. Alright. Now it's time. Hasatobe with maximum damage. Eight hits! Come on! It still wasn't enough. I'm sorry. Sayodan. No, we can end it. We can do it this turn. I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. God dang it. Please. We, lo we lost the attack buff. Rebellion Blade, maybe? Yeah. Oh my god, we're so- Yes! Do it! One last hit. Come on. No. Seer- What the crud? <sighs> I think we got this. We might as well end it in style. Adam. Versus the Serpent. I still- can't do it. And my reality is right before my eyes. I'm sorry. I said I didn't care what happened to me. But I guess... I wasn't committed to my words. You too, huh? Cross and Pie, what are you? Can't you tell? You think the same thing, don't you? Of course you do. After all... Uh, no, you can't! We hesitate right now. We die! Uh, uh, up there! I'm all yours. Use me, however you want. Now, show us the reality. The reality we wish for. <laughs> I am thou, and... to run. We're going to beat you and go back to our own reality. That's the spirit. Now let's finish this. It's time. Shitsune! Joker, try something else! I 
can take this. How about this? Let's go. You're mine.
Why? I gave up everything else. I dedicated all that I have to this, but I still... Why? I'm running from... <laughs> You nailed it. It's true that I turned my back on the original reality. But where's the harm in that? When it grows to be too much, too painful, every person deserves to escape that! <sighs> in all honesty, it's best for a person's growth when they tackle their own hardships. But reality doesn't always make that so feasible. No matter how much you try, or work for so long. The smallest injustice can wipe it all out, leave you with nothing. Don't you of all people understand that? You know, there probably are plenty of people who'd ultimately benefit from your reality. But what about the people who want to take on the world themselves? How's it right to rob them of their opportunities? I don't think what you're saying is wrong either, Dr. Maruki. Some people want to run from their pain and cling to some other version of reality, like I used to. But the knowledge I gained through that pain and my desire to move on, those are even more precious to me. And I won't let anyone take them from me again. <gasps> Yoshizawa-san. So you truly don't want it, huh? Looks like I'm totally finished. Trapped as well. Huh? Is there any way? Everyone, get over here! Hurry! <clears throat> Monachan, what are you? <sighs> this is no time to act tough. Whoever. Now or never. I have to fly! <laughs> Downright priceless to the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your little moment of triumph, but couldn't you have made yourself just a bit larger? <laughs> hey, where'd Joker go? Don't worry.
sorry to cut your flight short like that. This place is done for, along with the entire reality I dreamed of. I... have lost. Even if I were to try that fight over, I'm sure I'd only lose again. So I know, this is going to sound pretty stupid. I've been holding this all in for so long, just hiding it from myself. So, please, help me kill every last one of my regrets. You're the only one I can ask to help me with this. disappearance of my palace, of the entire metaverse, is drawing near. Seems like neither of us can summon our personas anymore. Let's begin. I gave up everything! Everything! So why? Why? Why, Rumi? A reality where no one suffers. I'm done. I get it now. All thanks to you. I'm done. Please, let go of my hand. Your eyes are as bright and honest as ever. You keep your head up no matter what. I must have always been... afraid. Afraid you and I wouldn't wish for the same reality. We have indeed witnessed your decision. Not only have you taken back mankind's future for itself, but you've also re-established our reason for existence. 
While reality had been wholly distorted, your actions have guided it back towards what it ought to be. That is correct. Time itself cannot be rewound, but every past event will revert to the event that should have occurred instead. I'll ask you once more. I'd like for you to turn yourself into the police, of your own accord. I will carve my own path for myself. I refuse to accept a reality concocted by someone else, stuck under their control for the rest of my days. <laughs> Everything will return to how it should be. Everything. There are no exceptions. Have your regrets begun? I see. Choosing such a path must not have been easy for you. For that, you have our utmost respect and gratitude. Did you see him? Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities. But I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um... Have you seen him at all, lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? W what are you guys talking about? Well, I was gonna ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, why don't you all take a seat before I go over his situation? So, he's in juvenile detention? Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality. Which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki... Now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality... Uh, I, I mean, the reality we're in right now... What happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. 
Did someone say my name? This again! Recycle gags suck! Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually, I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some time. Come on, don't scare us like that! Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No... I can't believe Akechi-san's really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is... I thought I'd braced myself for the decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice. I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah. We won't put up with this injustice. But... What can we do to actually help him get out of there? I, I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. We're going to show off what the Phantom Thieves are capable of. One last time. That's right, let's go. We're gonna save our leader no matter what it takes. Yeah! <laughs> Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him, no matter what. I already told you, there was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not gonna let that happen, you hear me? I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I'm begging you. Please, I, I beg of you, please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. He's... he's my best friend! So basically, 
The reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in this special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed! Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. But I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match-fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled, got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. Thank you so much, Coach! You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong, and will never trudge a path alone again. My own duties end here as well. You were truly a remarkable guest.
Long time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind, it, it's nothing. I have two great pieces of news for you today. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the Metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. That's right. Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. That wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... one more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system. But I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick.